Taoiseach Leo Varadkar has stepped down as head of the government and party leader. In a shock announcement outside government buildings just a few moments ago, flanked by his parliamentary colleagues, Mr Varadkar said now was the right time to go, citing both personal and political reasons. I'm joined now by our political correspondent Gavin Riley. And Gavin, this is a huge political upset. What happens next? In the short term, what happens is relatively little. Leo Varadkar remains on as Taoiseach, but Fine Gael will begin the process of trying to choose a successor. He says he wants that in place inside the next three weeks so that the new leader will be in place by the Fine Gael or Desh, which is the middle of April, and then for the local and European elections in the first week of June. But the very fact that very little happens in the meantime does not belie the fact that this is still a major, major shock. This was kept very much closely under wraps, and even some senior figures that I was speaking to in the other government parties this morning were not aware as to what was planned. This was merely indicated as being an announcement from the Fine Gael side of the House. There was very little sign of Leo Varadkar winding down when he was in Washington only in the last week or so making that traditional visit but he clearly says today that the time has come that he has spent some time mulling it over and although he didn't spell out his reasons he did indicate fairly firmly what he thought now was the time to make way. My reasons for stepping down are both personal and political. I believe this government can be re-elected and I believe my party Fine Gael can gain seats in the next stall. Most of all, I believe the re-election of this three-party government would be the right thing for the future of our country, continuing to take us forward, protecting all that's been achieved and building on it. But after careful consideration and some soul-searching, I believe that a new Taoiseach and a new leader will be better placed than me to achieve that to renew and strengthen the team, to focus our message and policies, to drive implementation. And after seven years in office, I don't feel I'm the best person for that job anymore. Now, what was remarkable is that those final comments were the closest that Leo Varadkar came to explaining his reasons for choosing now as the time to step aside. Simply the idea that he doesn't believe he's the best person to do it. Maybe it's the Jacinda Ardern model of saying that he doesn't believe that he has enough left in the tank or that he is maybe a little fatigued after spending 14 years unbroken as uh, in the cabinet and seven years as party leader. Either way, the party now begins the process of going away to look for a new leader. Only after that new leader is chosen will Leo Varadkar stand down as Taoiseach. He does remain the head of government until Fine Gael choose that new leader and it does remain uh, Fine Gael's gift to choose the new Taoiseach. That's part of the programme for government. So a new Taoiseach prospectively within a couple of weeks if Fine Gael only has one candidate. Prospectively within a new month if there is a leadership campaign within a Fine Gael that new leader has to lead them into the local elections and then into a general election the timing of which is still up to them. But certainly it won't be Leo Varadkar leading the party in although he does say he plans to remain as a TD for Dublin West in the meantime.